Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage. You got brother-in-law Mick here, and I'm sitting in the basement. It's a beautiful fall day here in Michigan. 70 outside, trees are, are uh, turning yellow, and I gotta deal with a leak. I gotta split right here in this ball valve, and uh, I gotta deal with it. It's at the, the main feed going out to the sprinkler. I hate plumbing, I'm not good at it, but what would a DIY uh, channel B without me trying to do the plumbing. Mrs. Mick has got the plumber on speed dial just in case this takes more than two hours. It shouldn't. I got a bunch of parts here. Let's see if I, I'm planning on cutting here and here. I've got a coupling to go on this one. Uh, I've got a piece I can put in here and I've got a new uh, one inch to one inch by half inch connection for here. So let's see if I can uh, get this uh, replaced without too many leaks. You know, doing these projects gives me a lot of respect for the people in the trade. Uh, I'm not very good at plumbing. Let's see uh, what happens when I turn the power on or the uh, well pump back on. Let's hope we don't have stuff spraying everywhere. So we'll uh, probably put this on time-lapse as you go through. You guys can laugh at me as I struggle through this. Uh, this is not what I like doing, but I'm gonna give it a shot here. So. Hope you enjoy the uh, the comedy fest. Now I'm wondering if I'm going to need a union to get all these together. I'm going to try to assemble it and then uh, solder it in place. So I'm going to cut as close as I can here and figure out how high up here I want to cut. So uh, got the old school rigid uh, pipe cutter here and it fits on an inch. So let's see if I can spin this and cut this here. I'm into it now. And there she be. So that's one. So you can get that cleaned up. So we can put that on there. This one up here and then whatever fitting I need to fit in between. So let's just cut this. Let me go up a little bit higher. Split it right there. You can see it's been dripping for a while. got those cleaned off now top and bottom so that should fit oh there we go you should clean the inside of the fitting Inside of this fitting, both sides here. I'll get the flux on later. I just want to dry fit for right now. So there's that one. Let's get the inside of all of these parts. We'll get flux on that in a minute. Uh oh. Maybe I put some flux on there now so I can slide this on and off easier. You can see how new I am. I actually had to buy new parts for all this until I never do this stuff. Uh -huh, they give me a little emery cloth with the, with the kit. That's kind of nice. So that was a Home Depot kit.
guys remove, see the tag on there, or do you just burn that off? Leave some comments. I, I don't know if I should try to take that off. I'm sure it'll just burn when I, uh, when I put the gas on it. again. Let's try this again. see I got drips that run down I, I'm not this right here that one worries me these two I think I got and that one all right I've got everything pulled away 
Except some tools. I'm gonna have uh, Mrs. Uh, Mick flick the well pump and let's see what kind of leaks we got. Go ahead, flick the breaker. I hear water. I don't see any water. My welding or soldering looks like complete crap. But, let's see. We got water there. None coming out of these guys. Looks like crap, but it's holding. And there you have it. All right, it's been about a week since I uh, replaced the fitting here and this fitting. I uh, just want to go over what lessons I learned. First lesson learned is don't get fat and you can't fit in these corners anymore. That does not work. I hated it. Um, the other thing that I noticed that I probably should have done instead of, uh, you know, putting these pipes in and then, you know, moving them up a little each, probably should have got a union in there. So uh, I think next time I'll put a union in there. That way I can just screw them together. Uh, I think that'll be a lot easier. Soldering, I've got to practice that. It this I got drips down here. It's not doesn't look burned up here. So uh, the other thing, this I've got this is facing sideways. So what I should have done is I should have dry fit this in here first and adjusted the the uh, spin on the coupling that I put in here because then I could have that straight down. I don't want to tighten it more because then I'll be shooting straight out. Now I've got water coming out to the side. So there was a mistake there, and then not putting a uni was another mistake, and then just a big belly. So hope uh, you liked the content of the video. If you did, please subscribe to Porty's Garage, and make sure you try a project yourself, but always have a plumber on speed dial. Thanks for watching.